Hey there everyone, a little change in the program as of today. As per the request of one of my most longtime estimable subscribers, Generica, we're going to do a little overview of each level before we get into the action of actually solving it. In this one, there's not much of an overview to be done here. These guys, they're going to walk straight to the exit without any problem. We don't have to worry about them. The guys we have to worry about, they're down here. We get 20 builders and only a few digging tasks, so... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up like this. We're going to build from about here and then hit up against the wall and go there. That's pretty much the only thing you can really do there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start about the business of getting this started. This is one of the few levels in this game that doesn't start with a release rate of 1. I think we can start from about here unless that means we're going to be hitting up on good old icicle times there. But we can probably get one good bridge built before we need to start digging through it. They provide the one... I'm going to go ahead and stretch out the bridges because I feel like he's going to hit his head if I don't. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get... We're going to, we're going to dig right through the stretchy part right there. And he's going to stop here any second now. And we're going to keep on stretching him out. I think he may actually hit his head a few times. We're going to have to turn him around fairly quickly to prevent him from doing that. So there's no reason you shouldn't save at least 50% of the lemmings every time you do this level. Okay, yeah, I should have stretched that out a little more, because he's going to start hitting his head. But we should have more than enough builders. It shouldn't take more than four or five to get up to the top there. So, oh my, we are hitting it way hard. Oh my, yikes, he's going to be turning around very quickly. So, it's actually going to take us a few bridges to stretch this out to where we need to. Okay, and then he's going to turn around, and then we're going to make him hit one more time. Okay, we got 10 builders. We should be able to handle this. So now we're going to bash through. Oh, God. Going to need him to turn around again, actually. Oh, maybe I started building from too far away. I'm not liking my chances here. And I have to be sure to get re right on top of this step, too, because I don't want to shave it off, which, thankfully, I didn't. Now, at the end of this tunnel, we're going to bash through. We're going to bash, and then we're going to start building. I wanted to do it from sort of far away. Because I didn't want to end up hitting on the little under curve of this. That's a common problem with this level, is that you end up hitting on the little rocks undercarriage. So, once we have this sealed up and we're building to the left, we're going to build the other guys out. That shouldn't be... Okay, yes, he's going to seal this hole perfectly. And then once he turns around and starts going to the left, we're going to build everyone else out. So, wow, that's actually not that hard a level. And that was an easy bridge to seal up. Wow, they gave us plenty of stuff. That was not really a wild level at all. That was more of a crazy level, I would say. Oh, yikes. Some of them are coming on a little early. Hopefully, this guy can get it done. Some guys might be walking back just a little bit. Let's go ahead and make a second builder. Okay, yeah. I think that second builder was enough to get everybody, make sure that everybody goes the exit. Nobody turns around and straggles through. Well, they would have hit on this little part right here, so they would have just turned around. Okay, they wouldn't have gone all the way back down here to the entrance. We were just fine. It's really easy to save 100 livings in that level. You just gotta look at your builders, see what you've got to use, and find the angle that's gonna get you up there safely. Okay, levels like this are among my least favorites. You see, we don't have very much to work with here. We only have to save 75%. We can kill up to 20 lemmings. And believe me, lemmings are going to die here. We have six builders, two bashers, and two diggers. And we have to get them around from... We have to build up here, go around to here, seal this up, and then bash through to the exit. Keep in mind, we only have two bashers. So we are going to... We can't go just one, two, three through these. We are going to have to do a long bit of bashing through this one part right here so we're gonna have to find a good angle from which to bash down here which is kind of hard considering the curve of the rock but let's go ahead and get started some lemmings are going to die it's just a fact of life they're going to we're going to go ahead and we're going to start and we're going to keep the release rate at one for now that's going to mitigate the damage as much as possible let's go ahead some people are just going to have to die that's just going to have to be the way it is it's unfortunate and, like I say, I don't really like levels like that, but here we are. Okay, only two lemmings are dead. Now we're going to get this guy digging. 
We're going to get him digging right down. So that's three. And we're going to keep a count of how many Lemmings die. Four. And this is number five coming down here. And six. He's seven. Here comes eight. And once we get down here, we're going to build up to this. Ah, uh, yeah. We're not going to kill anywhere close to... 20 lemmings here but we are building from about right here in order I think it's gonna touch this little thing and that's gonna stanch the flow properly so I think we can go ahead and kind of raise our release rate as needed okay yeah this is totally patched up perfectly that's excellent we're gonna go ahead though and we're gonna patch up even more get the lemmings in a little bit tighter space start building from about right here and he's gonna hit up on that and we're gonna need the first guy who comes up here to bash through Let's see. All right, we're going to bash starting about right here. Once we get in the crook of that little rock right here, we're going to be bashing to the exit. So we're going to raise our release rate to 99, and we're going to make sure I'm going to stick with the recording until he gets about right here because I don't want it to get too low that he stops bashing, and I just let the recording go. And Okay, yeah, everything is going to be okay. He should bash right on through to the end there. So we'll be right back when he's through. All right, he's just about through there, and here come the teeming hordes, right on track. I raised the release rate to 99, and they are going to be coming right on time. A couple of them have turned around. Let's, uh, ah, they'll turn around just fine. We got a bunch of guys going back this way anyway. It was to be expected when you're bashing through a long tunnel like that. But we have a lot of stuff left over. That's the only thing. You have to kill a bunch of lemmings. About 10 of them have to sacrifice their lives in that level. I don't know why they... I guess they gave you that leeway because they weren't sure how many you were going to kill doing it that way. But, wow, we've already saved our eight or our 75%. We still have four left walking around out here. So, why don't we just go ahead and... Well, we'll let them walk to the exit so I can talk. Yeah, we're getting to that point in the game where sometimes lemmings are just going to have to die. You're going to have to face facts man up to it and just let the guys sacrifice their lives like they need to. It could take a while to do this level because I think we're going to be relying partially on luck at the end. This has got a very tough solution. We don't have too many builders to work with. I think we're going to be using all of them. We're only going to have one chance to build our way out of this little trap right here. Because as you see, we have no blockers, so we're going to have to seal this little pit with a builder. So that's going to kind of cut into our nine, which already isn't very much. And we're going to have to find a way to mitigate this drop height right here, which you have to build up to it, but there's an extra step that might not be immediately obvious. First thing we're going to do, we're going to, we already have Climber selected. We're going to make a Climber because actually he's going to be able to get over this little hump right here, weirdly enough. And let's see. Yeah, see, he just goes straight over that for some reason, even though it's sticking out like a diamond. And we are going to have him build up to the top there. And then this guy. Wow. Wow. Oh, that is not cool how they just cross in like that. Maybe we're going to have to raise the release rate a little then. Okay, let's raise the release rate just so to about 10. Maybe that will get the lemmings flowing separately enough that it'll be easy to pick a guy to build out there. Once again, we want to make a climber, and then we want to make a guy seal up this hole. Okay, first of all, we want him to build over to that so they can get out when they have the chance. Okay... Okay, good. Hole is sealed, so everybody's just going to be kind of wandering around now. Alright, now we need to make this guy. Is he a... I don't see much point in making him a climber right now. I was going to, but he seemed to build up there just fine without running into it or turning around or anything. So, oh, I made him a climber anyway. Well, that's nice how that worked out. Okay, he's going to go up here, and now he'll walk down this chain, as you see. He's going to walk down through the chain without much trouble. Once he gets to about this point, he's going to fall through this little crack right here and go in the quicksand. So we need to have him build once he gets to about this point or so, so that he can get up the rest of the chain. Those chains, they're very thin. They work kind of weirdly. Now we're going to get out a basher. Well, first of all, I was going to say, well, we better make him a floater, but we can wait to do that, I suppose. Now we're going to make a basher. This is going to mitigate the drop height. Not for this guy, because it doesn't really matter for him so much. 
but for the guys coming through this way right here this is going to make it a little easier on them when they're coming through this little part right here and we're going to have him of course float down and now we got to use our six builders in fact we're only going to have to use five builders to get to the top there so this uh this might prove a little tricky and i think i may have gone a little too far from the edge there but we'll see in just a second i think won't we okay he's gonna make it to the wall in plenty of time now we have to build these guys out of here and that's a little bit trickier because we're gonna need them to build to the right i think at this rate since they're all kind of lumped together and mashed in anyway we can go ahead and raise the release rate to 99 because it's so chaotic what's the point really of doing otherwise Wow, if I had stretched out that bridge, I maybe would have had a chance of getting... Huh. Okay, well, what we want to do in any event... First of all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to build these guys out of here. If it doesn't work, I'll show you what we're going to do anyway. Let's see if these guys can get out of here safely. Alright, I think they're going to build to safety then. Unless I started from too early a point there, which is entirely possible. Oh no, everybody's coming, good. So what we're going to do now is once he gets done climbing right here, we're going to mine through the stair. And that's going to send everybody to victory. That's the only luck-based part right there. We don't have anything we can do, really. You have to use eight builders to get to this point right here. And see, now everybody is dropping onto this stair. Everybody's lives are saved. Because if they had come up from this point, there still might have been some splat distance, say if the stair had been built from about here and went up to here. So there's still that danger. That's why we bashed her up there. A lot to account for in this tough little level. Here we go. Three minutes doesn't seem like much time until you realize they're only using about half of the geography of this level. See, we have the entire mini-map here showing showing land masses and stuff. But as we scroll across, we see Here's an arrow wall. We're going to have to go backwards through that, clearly. Alright, and then... See, the X is just right up here, so... It's conceivable to get from here to here in about three minutes. There have been levels that made us traverse from here all the way to the edge in three minutes, and we did those plenty easily, so this shouldn't be too bad. This over here is just rocks and snow. It's nothing to worry about at all. But we're going to get started now going this way. We have... I think we can actually kill some lemmings, so I think I'm not going to worry too much right now about lemmings dying. One guy is obviously going to run off into the water. Okay, we're going to start building from as far over as possible. I think we're just going to let that guy bite the dust. Yeah. And he should be fine, which means we need to start setting up a blocker trap. Because we have bombers, actually, that we can do this with now. Oh, 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 golly. I, that was a little too close to call right there. We're going to make two, those two guys both climbers. And we can raise our release rate to 99.9. Now, the reason we have two guys going is one of these guys is going to build up. Actually, I'm going to have the ladder guy build up because I just want this guy to turn around. And it's going to take two bridges to get across to here. And while he builds, he's going to bash through and sacrifice himself so the other guys can have a great life on up ahead to the exit. Okay, and he's going to start building once again. Once he gets to here, he's going to bash. We only have two bashers, so we need to save them both. Oh, no! I'm freezing in the sub-zero water! No! Oh, wow. He just barely made it there. Maybe I should have stretched out the bridge a little. Now, here's the, uh... This is a relatively tough little part here, but we're going to... We're going to build from as far close to the edge as possible. I'm only going to use one builder here. Because once again, we're at a level where we really have to think about how many builders we use. This is going to be, we only are going to use four builders or so to get from here to up here. And he's going to just narrowly avoid the ice blower. Okay. We're going to start in from about right here then. And we're going to build a zigzaggy bridge going up to, wow, we are running short of time here. I need to think more carefully about this. Okay, and then up. Once he starts sealing the bridge, I'm going to go ahead and free the other lemmings. Okay. He's about to turn around. Oh, my. Ooh, I didn't expect him to turn around that quickly. Okay, now we might have a tough time here because we need to get 
Hopefully, oh yikes, he's gonna fall right through that. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Ugh, ooh, that's an ugly little passage right there. And of course, he's gonna get shredded up. Oh yeah, ooh, that was violent. How is there fire involved? Okay, perhaps we want to start from a lower point then, like about here. What's important, I think that's lower anyway. What's important is that we want to seal this hole right here. It's really important that we just seal that up. Listen for the clicks and get him building, and I think I may have done myself a disservice actually by stretching out that bridge. He's gonna turn and he's gonna hit his head, yeah. Okay, no, the hole is sealed up, so now we're gonna keep going up. We want to build as soon as possible so that we stand a better chance of hitting the wall here. What I'm worried about is him hitting his head and not sealing that gap. Oh no, but he did it. Okay, that's great. Okay, and now he's going to climb right there. Alright, as soon we're going to start sending guys to the exit now because we don't have much time left. Only a minute or so, so we got to get this guy bombing. And then once we get up to about here... Okay, yeah, he's going to get up perfectly to the point where he needs to bash through this snow wall right here. Alright, he built perfectly there. We're going to have him bash and then build to stop his bashing because he'll just keep right on going through that. So we have to use our last builder to make a stop right here and just make it so that it curves nicely and just goes right on up the hill. And Now everybody should make it safely to victory. We're going to go back and we're going to bomb that last guy so that the level fades out when everybody exits. We don't want to forget about him and figure out why our level's not ending yet when we save 95% or so of our limbing base here. But they're all just going to walk up and we're going to save way more than the 80% we need. So that's all for today. Join us tomorrow on level 13 wild.